and then welcome to the session in this session first of all let us discuss the amount of nut left unpaid now if the nut is left unpaid for n years then the equivalent amount which will be paid at the end of nth year is same as the amount of the ordinary annuity certain therefore the amount of ordinary annuity that is capital a is equal to a upon i into 1 plus i whole raised to power n minus 1 the whole where a that is small a is the annual payment of each installment of n annuity of n periods and the rate of interest is r percent per period and i denotes the interest of 1 dollar for the same period and i is equal to r upon 100 now let us discuss what is a sinking fund now it is a fund that is accumulated for the purpose of paying off a financial obligation at some future designated date now if the periodic payment a is required to accumulate a sum of capital a dollars over n periods with interest charged at the rate of r percent Per period and I is the interest of one dollar for the same period when I is equal to. R upon hundred, then capital A is equal to A upon I into one plus I n raised to power n minus one, and this complete whole. And this implies A is equal to capital A into I whole upon. One plus i whole raised to power n minus one, and this complete whole. Now let us see an example. Here, a person decides to accumulate money for his retirement age by setting aside a certain sum of money every year, which will earn him compound interest. It is done by investing equal periodic payments and 
we can say a sinking fund is created. Now a sinking fund was created for the following purposes. First is child's education. Second is machine replacement. And third is redemption of the ventures. And now let us discuss endowment or scholarship fund. Now in this, the individual may donate the money in a lump sum or number of years so that a corpus may be created from the donation to pay scholarships to bright or needy students every year and such a corpus is called an endowment fund. And here, the scholarship may be paid for a fixed number of years or in perpetuity, that is forever. And it can also be called as a scholarship fund. Now let us illustrate it with the help of an example. Now suppose a scholarship of $5,000 per annum is to be awarded and for this some money is deposited in the bank giving an interest of 5% per annum. Now, if the scholarship is awarded and we we'll see that is the scholarship as in perpetuity, that is forever, then we have capital P is equal to A upon I, which is equal to, now here, A is given to us as $5,000, so this is equal to 5,000, and I is equal to R upon 100, that is 5 upon 100, so this would be 5, upon 100. So P will be equal to 5000 over 5 into 100 which is equal to 100,000 dollars. Now this is the amount which will have to be deposited in the lump sum to meet the liability of a payment of scholarship of 5000 dollars per annum and lastly, however, if the scholarship is to be awarded for a fixed period say for five years, then capital P will be equal to A upon I into 1 minus 1 plus I whole raised to power minus N and this complete whole which is equal to 5000 
upon I is 5 upon 100 which is 0 0.05 into 1 minus 1 plus I. Now 1 plus I will be equal to 1.05 all is to power minus 5 as N here is 5 years and this complete whole. Now this is equal to 5000 upon 0 0.05 into 1 minus 1 upon 1.05 whole raised to power 5 and this complete whole and this is equal to 5000 upon 0 0.05 into 1 minus 1 upon 1.276 and this complete whole further this is equal to 5000 upon 0 0.05 into 1 minus 0 0.78 the whole which is equal to 5000 upon 0 0.05 into 0 0.216 and on calculating this is equal to 21600 now this is the amount which will have to be deposited in a lump sum to meet the liability of a payment of a scholarship of $5,000 per annum for the period of 5 years. So here we have discussed that the scholarships may be paid for a fixed number of years or in perpetuity that is forever. So in this session you have learnt about the amount of annuity left unpaid, sinking fund and endowment or scholarship fund. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.